Hello everybody, welcome back to House Heart Home or welcome if you are new. I'm just with you. So, <laughs> so hi, hi guys, my name is Rania. My daddy made an awesome walking present for my mommy and daddy. If you're new and watching me today for the first time, my name is Sahana and today I have my husband here with me. Finally, I got him to sit down with me and film this intro clip. So I let him introduce himself. Hi guys, I'm Bharat. Thank you very much for liking the videos and uh, thank you for sharing and subscribing to our channel. And uh, I'm very glad you liked the closet video. Uh, thank you so much. And thank you for all those lovely comments. Yes, thanks a lot guys for the support. For those of you that are have not seen the previous video, my husband built a beautiful walk-in closet in our master bedroom from scratch all by himself. So that video link will be down in the description box if you haven't watched it yet. Once you're done watching this, go click on that to watch. And in today's video, we're going to show you uh, how he made the barn door from scratch he built with no previous experience. He built this beautiful barn door to cover our walk-in closet. So that's what you're going to see in today's video. Yes, we use the uh, glass work in the barn door, which makes it a little more difficult than the regular uh, barn doors with wood. So stay tuned, watch the complete video. First, you always start with your drawing room. Measure your existing doorway opening in width and height. Add 2 inches to the width and 2 inches to the height. In our case, the doorway opening is 40 inch wide and 79 inch height. The barn door was sized to properly cover this opening, which would be 81 inch tall and 42 inch wide. Make sure the wall space be beside the doorway is at least the barn doors width. I bought these 1x8 barn boards from Home Depot and I bought three of them which perfectly is enough for the barn door that I am building. Now in the workshop cut these boards as per your measurements. Measurement is the key. Make sure you measure again and again before you cut. Because I'm using the glass for the barn doors, I measured the thickness of the glass and now I'm cutting grooves into these uh, barn woods to insert the glass. Remember uh, the height of the barn door is 81 inch tall so make sure that includes these glasses. So uh, the depth of the grooves you have to measure again and again just to make sure uh, it, it, come, it fits accurately. I decided to sand this and uh, stay in it after sanding but once I completed the sanding um, I decided not to stain it because I like the color it uh, turned out to be. So we have roughly assembled the barn door without screwing anything in. This is how it's looking. A lot of hard work has gone into this uh, till now like husband was drilling making every measurement right and making the glass fit in properly so it took a lot of trial and error and going back and forth we did once here went back to the garage again we had to correct some more things and now this is how the whole thing is looking roughly assembled excited to take it up and put it together for sure right 
the hardware for the barn door we ordered from Amazon. If you're interested, there's a link in the description box. And uh, you can find all different styles. And we chose uh, the simple one. So it includes the wheels on top, the rod, all the screws, and uh, the rubber stoppers. Everything comes in it, the handle. And it was uh, really heavy and very good quality. Before you order these, make sure that you have measured your track length right and order according to the track length of your design. For us, it was eight feet long, so we ordered based on our track length. So here we are upstairs and we're screwing the door. We are putting the glass in, trying to fit all the pieces together and it's working out so far. The glass we are using in this barn door is actually from Ikea. It is a tabletop glass and it's got two holes in it but the groove my husband made it such that the holes were covered and you can't see them. So that's where we got these glasses from. the door is all assembled and fixed so there's a little bit of gap there and there uniform gap up and down and it's all done I love the color of the door I love how it is so the original color of the weathered barn door if you guys have missed seeing it was like this and it's very rough and this is how it was looking when we got it and then when we sanded it down so we kept some of the gray tones now it's smoother to the touch and it has some gray it also has some tones of beige and brown that goes with our khaki paint the wall paint this track length comes with pre-drilled hole for 16 inch uh, spacing and when I built the framing, I made sure the studs were 16 inch. So if you do not have the studs 16 inch, it's always better to have um, a wooden plank uh, that will hold this track. So we fixed the bar and it's ready for the door to sit on it and slide. That'll be the real test. Let's see. just you guys saw us slide it this is how it's looking it slid now hubby is going to put the stopper on both sides and then the door handle so some more work is there it's looking really good with the lights off you can see the dark gray of the glass and when we switch on the closet light it lights up And 
and finally it's all done looking so gorgeous this barn door we did not expect it would turn out this good i mean a lot of hard work went into it but it was so worth it not buying already made one but uh, doing it putting all the hard work in so this is from inside of the closet i'm standing inside and closing and this is how it looks from inside the closet i just love it it gives both of us so much joy every time we look at it and use it and the best part is this door only costs less than $100 to make, which is the glass and the wood minus the hardware. So you can't beat that and look how gorgeous it is. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching today's video. And it was so nice to have my husband featuring in this with me. In the upcoming videos, you'll see more about him and his life and his challenges and how he overcomes them. So if you want to watch more about us and our family, then subscribe down below and press the bell icon so you get notified when my next video comes up and uh, keep watching. Thanks for all the support, guys. Like this video and share it with your friends. Until I see you next time, fill your home with lots of love.